Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so this video, it's not gonna be a very long video, uh, but I just wanted to come on here real quick and answer the question that I have been getting recently, which is why did I switch from my paper planner to digital planning? Um, now I was, again, the hardcore Erin Condren planner. Um, actually, I just had my 2017 Erin Condren out yesterday. I was showing it to a friend of mine. Um, but so if I was such a diehard paper planner, why did I switch to digital? So three main reasons. Number one was the clutter. So I had the washi tape, the pens, the printer paper, the printer inks, the sticker paper. I mean, the whole nine yards. I had a stash. Um, and with digital planning, I have all of these things, but they're virtual. So I don't have to worry about lugging out the boxes, lugging out the drawer, rolling out the cart every time I want to sit down and plan something. Now I just open up my planner, pick up my pencil, and boom, I'm ready to go with whatever I could possibly want. Which brings me to number two, more options. So with paper planning, you're kind of limited to what the manufacturers think you want or tell you you want. Um, granted, yes, you can go like on Etsy and find printable layouts and, you know, insert your own pages and like happy planner situation, or you could even make your own and print them out. But for me, having multiple layouts in one place that I don't have to worry about printing and stuff is super, super convenient for me. All I have to do is just, okay, what am I gonna do for this week? plug in the page I want and I'm good to go. Plus, I have more options as far as um, pen styles, pen colors, um, fonts if I choose to use fonts. Uh, with paper planning, you're again, you're limited to what is out there, you know, with like, um, I know there are a bazillion sticker shops for physical planning. Um, I know several of them personally. But again, you're limited to what they have and then you also have to wait for them to get it to you with digital planning. Like even if I wanna go sticker shopping, which you know, your girl goes sticker shopping, my stuff that I buy, I have instantly. I don't have to wait for something to come in the mail. I don't have to go out to the store. In fact, when I go out to like Michael's, cause that used to be my go-to um, because there's one down the street and they had like the big display of the happy planners, the recollections planners, all the stickers and blah, blah, blah. When I go there now, I kind of walk by and I'm like, ooh, stickers. And then I'm like, I don't need them because I don't, you know, if I have the urge to go sticker shopping, I can do it on Etsy just like I would have before. And now I even make my own stickers. So if I'm like, oh, I need a giraffe wearing a turban, I can just make one. You know, or I can find a picture on Google because I'm not selling it. I would never, um, but I could just find some rando photo and put it in my planner. Or another example, excuse me, would be like um, last year, last December, um, me and one of my girlfriends went to a concert. And instead of like tucking the playbill into my planner where it's just gonna fall out or whatever, I was able to just take the, the poster from the show and put it right in my planner. So I have my ticket stubs um, directly in there. So I love it, love it. Um, so yeah, that's a reason number two. And then reason number three is the portability. Um, granted, an Erin Condren, you can stick it in your bag, you can take it wherever you want to. But for me with my digital planner, zzz, um, they sync with my phone. So even if I don't have my tablet with me, then I still have my planners with me. Um, and then two, if I'm going say to a coffee shop or wherever, you know, and I want to have access to my, my tablet, I can go sit down. I have my planner, I have my books, I have my drawing apps. I have everything in this one device. So I don't have to take all this crap with me when everything I want is right there. So, um, those are my reasons for transitioning from paper to digital. Now, for someone who's thinking about making the jump, I have a little bit of advice from experience. Um, number one, 
is know that it is, while visually similar, the process is very, very different. Um, for example, you're like, you can't just pull a sticker off of a sheet and then put it onto your planner. It is a copy paste type of situation. So the concept is the same, but the execution is different. And until you kind of have it in your routine, it feels very tedious. So give yourself some patience and don't expect that you're going to sit down and have your spread done in 15 minutes because it's not going to happen. And then two, start with what you know instead of like, for example, let me just put this out in a way that's easy to digest. So one of the main draws of this is how different the planners are and how how much variety there is within even one planner. But let's say you're coming from the happy planner. Say you're a happy planner person. You know that layout. You know how to plan with it. Maybe find a printable or um, scan a blank page in your planner and then put that on your tablet and start there. The reason I say this is because you're already going to have so much going on um, where you're like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm doing. Not having to think about a brand new layout on top of that is going to make the transition easier. So go with what you know if you're an Erin Condren. Find a um, an Erin Condren style uh, PDF. Um, PDF? Yeah, PDF. I got that mixed up with PNG. So yeah, find one. They're all over the place. I have several on my website, LennyDigitals.com, that are in my freebie section. Um, you can download them. I have portrait and landscape versions. Don't shell out a lot of money on a planner just because it's the latest and greatest, says me. But I mean it though, until you know what your new style is in digital planning, don't waste your money. Go with the freebies, find what works, and then start investing or creating yourself, however you want to do it. Um, and then number two would be try a lot of different styles once you get the hang of digital planning. Um, I have on, again, my website in the free section, a uh, planner piece challenge, which is basically five different layouts that you can download. It's for weekly planning, but there's like a um, horizontal box style. There's a square box style, just a bunch of different styles that you can take and then just try each one and see if one works. Um, I believe I have this in portrait and landscape mode. But one thing to think about when I started, again, I'm coming from Aaron Condren. So you've got the open book Monday through Wednesday, Thursday through Sunday, kind of a situation. Whereas on digital, I am all on one page portrait. I can't do uh, landscape planning when I'm digital planning. I can't stand it. I don't know why, but it's just not functional for me. So you might think you want it one way and that could very well be, but try other ways because you don't want, I mean, the whole point of digital planning is to try new things and be able to be creative and be, you know, different and just explore. So don't limit yourself to one thing when there are so many things out there. So that's it guys. I hope this video was helpful and not all over the place because it kind of felt all over the place. Um, so yeah, feel free, download those, uh, download the files from my website. They are free. You're not going to lose anything by trying it. All right. I will see you in the next video guys. Bye.